Hi, this is Angela McFarlane and you're stamping with AMAC. As promised, I'm going to show you a few different ways to colour in this gorgeous happy birthday to you cake and flowers. Um, I've made a few cards. I've cased these from the catalogue and I've used a few different ways of colouring in. This one was actually on watercolour paper and that was using inks and this one was using the Stampin' Blends so I'll show you how to do that this one was also a watercolour technique but I embossed with white embossing powder and this was on the um, glimmery, the shimmery white paper and this one here again was on the shimmery paper but um, I used watercolour pencils on this one so I'll show you a few different ways of colouring I've just cut out the flowers on the cake so I'll do just the flowers for three different techniques for you so with the wonderful birthday dies that are available you've got uh, the whole cake to cut out you've got a die for just the flowers you've got a few extra leaves and embellishments and a nice cake stand too so they're all available for purchase now First of all, I will show you the Stampin' Blends colouring and what I did with that to achieve that as result. Now, I've always been a little bit afraid of colouring because I don't consider myself to be a really good colourer and I thought it took a really long amount of time to do, so I never really got into it but I found this is just the light petal pink um, that I'm using and I'm putting all over the flower but I found with time that you don't need to be particularly fussy with your colouring and you can get really quite nice results quite quickly this is just the fine tip or the bullet Point of the uh, dark petal pink so I'm just adding a little bit of accent to that as well and then I'll go in with the um, Calypso coral and just add a little bit more color through here I won't color the entire image but I just wanted to show you how you can achieve this result really quite quickly and then I'll go over again with the bullet point of the dark uh, petal pink and just blend that in a little bit now these little buds I just thought they would look nicer in the darker colour because they wouldn't have been opened yet so we can just simply do them in a darker color and to achieve these extra little spots on the flower there's a little stamp in the in the stamp set that's got some spots in there and I just use the Calypso coral ink and just added a few spots blotches over the flower to bring that accent out and it just gives it a little bit of extra character and depth as well so I'll just pop that one aside and then for the second card that I used that was on the shimmery white and with the heat embossing so what I do for the coloring for this I open the ink pad well before I open the ink pad I just press it down in the middle to get a little bit of ink in the center of the ink pad that way I'm not dipping my aqua painter into the actual 
stamp pad I'm just using it to pick up the ink now with this one I just take a little bit of the color away on a scrap piece and then I just follow the outlines they're a little bit um, hard to see so you sort of want good light for when you're doing this one but it gives you a really nice um, sort of no line technique as well so you can see how quickly and easily that sort of the colors taking to that and I'll just put a little bit of extra in the center there to keep that a little bit darker as well and I can start on my second flower so you can see how actually quick and simple it is to color so don't be afraid of coloring like I was there's heaps of different ways of coloring without having to be an artist or without having to spend an awful lot of time doing it so you can see the um, the paper is just taking the darker color where I would put it in the center and it's just sort of taking it where it wants to go and as that dries that'll leave really really nice highlights and you can do the same for the little tiny buds and stuff that are there as well just give them a little bit of a highlight so if you've actually colored another one and that you do have outlines in you can see where you're going a little bit easier and follow follow that as well So this is just my flowers and I'm just looking at my finished product and realizing I've got more petals up here I'll just bring some of that darker color into the center Give that a bit more of a highlight so this one I haven't cut out with the trimmer yet so I'll just clean my aqua painter until my ink is running clear. Close my ink pad. I'll do the same. This is one of the new style ink pads. So once again, you can just squish them in the middle as well to get a little bit of ink in the center. So you can pick that up. So for the leaves on this one, I'm actually using Granny Apple Green because it was a really nice um, shade of green. I thought it went really well with the Calypso Coral ink as well. And because I'm cutting these out as well, it doesn't matter that I'm not perfectly within the lines for everything either. So... When it's all cut out, a few of those bits will get cut away. I've just realized I've missed some little buds down here. I can always go back to that at the end. So once again, to get a little bit of darker highlight, I just put the... Um, pick up a little bit more of the green color and just pop it straight in the center there and the more you dilute the ink the lighter it will get as well so the more you keep coloring the lighter the color becomes so I think that's pretty much got all the green bits now I'll just quickly clean my aqua painter and I'll just go back and do the tiny buds that I missed here as well and I can just add a little bit of 
more color in the center here just as it's dried it's gotten a little bit lighter so that'll just add a splash more color to it excuse the planes flying over in the background I think they could have waited until I started until I'd finished my filming <laughs> never mind there you go so that's just showing you how quickly and easily you can use water coloring and it's actually really fun and I find it really relaxing as well to do that so once that's dried I will cut that out as well and it can actually overlay it over the top of my cake and just pop it up on dimensionals and it gives it a little bit of extra lift as well so for this other image I used watercolor pencils so for these I used rich razzleberry old olive and for the centers I just used the basic black as well so with watercolor pencils you don't need to color the whole image in I find that if you go around your outlines that will add enough color to be able to spread it with the watercolor with the aqua painter basically so if you sort of just do your outlines and stuff you can bring the color bring the color in with your aqua painter so this is just super duper quick and super duper rough and then if you do want any more color in there you can always add a little bit more later on sort of as it dries as well always want a little bit of extra color and a bit make it a little bit darker around the center and I've just covered that whole center of the flower but I'll be doing that in black anyway so that'll bring that out and then I've also missed a petal here and add to that and then with the leaves the same so wherever you've got the accents of the stamp so when you've got the veins and bits and pieces like that you sort of start from the base and and work upwards and that would be enough to add that splash of color like I said I'm no expert by any means but this is just a few really quick ways of coloring that I've I've learned myself and I just thought I'd share that with you so you can see I'm just moving that around and picking up the color with the aqua painter and you basically just move it around so you just take it where you want it to go you can see it doesn't take a long time at all you can see where I've laid down a little bit more color that's coming out darker as well so I'll just do the little buds and that's my black center I should have left that till last if you're using your aqua painter and you don't clean it in between I suggest you start with your lighter colors first as well so you can see how this one's a little bit lighter so I'll go in and add a little bit more color with my pencil and I can just move that around as well you don't have to wait until it's completely dry so I'll just quickly do these leaves just add a little bit more color to it I 
I'm on a roll, so I may as well do the whole thing and just show you how quick and easy it is. You can see I'm not being super duper careful at all. I'm just sort of following the outlines of the flower. And that's about all it takes. So I've got the purple or the rich razzleberry on my aqua painter at the moment. So I'll just move that around and colour that in. Do the little buds. And I'll go in with the black for the centre. Just colour that and then I'll do the old olive leaves. And there you have it. So that's my three quick and easy techniques for colouring in. I hope you've enjoyed that and I would love it if you could leave me a comment or if you could share this or um, I'm trying to grow my page. If you can invite people to like my Facebook page, that would be fantastic. Otherwise, I hope that you can earn your free celebration stamp set. Uh, you can earn this for free with a $90 spend. And with that spend, if you want to, you can buy these birthday dies. And I think they are... I forget, I think they're about $47. So that's halfway there to your $90 spend. So you could have the complete set. This is only during celebration, which ends at the end of March. If you would like more information, please feel free to contact me and I can help you out. Otherwise, have a great day and happy stamping. Thanks for watching.